As we are kicking off the new season of First LEGO League Challenge, we would like to share some of our tips for the Innovation Project. We are the Moment Makers, an all-girls First LEGO League Challenge team from Pearland, Texas. We were awarded First Place Champions Award at our regional championship two years in a row, advancing to the Razorback Invitational and the World Festival. Is the Innovation Project required? I thought this was a robotics team. Do we have to do the Innovation Project? The answer is yes. First LEGO League Challenge is helping to shape students into future engineers, scientists, and problem solvers. Students learn so much from the Innovation Project engineering process. During the season, remember the Innovation Project is a required part of competitions. Though the best thing about Innovation Project is it's fun. It's also really rewarding to see your project continue even after the competition season is over, with your project solution helping people through its implementation. In Innovation Project, there are three required parts. First off, you must identify a problem related directly to the topic as specified in the challenge guide released. This season, it will be released on August 4th. Second, you must design a solution to the problem you chose. Third, you must share your solution with others and then refine it. In the Innovation Project, as well as everything you do throughout the season, remember kids do the work. Kids will identify a problem, kids will design a solution, and kids will share their solution and refine it based on feedback. First provides a printed engineering notebook and team meeting guide. Last year, the use of these materials was not required, but they can provide a good starting point for many teams. Teams can also develop their own methods of recording their progress and structuring their meetings, depending on their own limitations, needs, and abilities. Kids often have some background knowledge already. This season will relate to exploring activities for play. Libraries, even virtually, are terrific sources for beginning research. You can find sources appropriate to your team's age. Also, look to the robot game field for additional ideas. Teams may meet professional resources or be inspired by sharing experiences together related to the challenge. Have your team watch for events offered locally or virtually on the internet. Even if the field trip has little directly to do with your final project selected, you will learn so much and have fun. Kids look for and contact professional resources related to the challenge topic. The team itself should compose the emails and or letters to professionals, with the coach providing guidance and checking for appropriateness. Be ready to accept that some professionals may be too busy or may not communicate back. They are very busy people. In meeting with professionals, coaches will need to help with logistics, scheduling, and preparing kids on etiquette. Kids should take the lead and make a list of questions, prepare any presentation, etc. Professional resources are to provide background information and maybe feedback for the student's proposed solution later on. Professionals are not to provide the solution themselves. The Engineering Notebook from FIRST provides SPARK ideas based on robot game field kit challenges. These can be a good source for starting ideas. The Engineering Notebook provides prompts for teams to consider their problems and solutions. After all this research, your team may have lots of ideas for a problem to solve. Start narrowing down possible problem ideas, remembering team members should make the final decision of the problem to focus on for your innovation project. While you make your decision, consider potential solutions to the problems. In designing a solution, remember that kids do the work. Judges are not looking for a solution developed by the coach or parents and judges are not looking for a solution developed by a professional resource. Your team's solution does not have to be complicated to be innovative. You might be thinking, what is an innovative solution? An innovative solution could be a completely new idea, an improvement on an existing idea, or you could use an existing idea, even from another field, in a completely new way. As you work to discover your solution, remember to revisit your research. Encourage the team to brainstorm for possible ideas. Sketches of beginning ideas will be useful in explaining the solution to professionals and judges. Using an existing solution in a new way is acceptable too. You just need to describe how your team added value. 
As the team starts refining the solution, encourage further development. Maybe your team should build a model, test underlying concepts, or research some more. Coaches and other mentors can facilitate students learning new skills to help refine their solution. Students can work on learning relevant math, science, and engineering concepts, and learning methods of hands-on construction, such as cutting, sawing, drilling, painting, sewing, etc. In building a model or prototype, construction should be student-driven. Different schools or groups will have different facilities and equipment available to them. Students will also have different talents. Every team is different. A beginning model or prototype could be miniature. It does not have to be fully functional. It can also be made of simple materials. Your team only has to build what it is capable of based on whatever materials and talents the team has. Remember the purpose of building a prototype or model is to allow for testing the solution idea, to help explain the solution to judges or professionals, to encourage students to think about what materials would be used if the real solution was created, and to help students see any limitations of the solution idea. Minimally, teams should share with family and friends. Refine your solution by incorporating feedback from professional resources when they are available. The more sharing your team does, the more feedback, and thus, the better your solution can become. In past years, teams had a five-minute presentation with the judges including setup, but we are unsure of how virtual competitions will be structured. Traditionally, the entire team will take part in the judging session. Use your own individual team style. It could be a fact-centered report, a skit, or a mix of both. Kids should choose their style, and they should prepare their own presentation. In preparing the presentation, it is important you remember that every team is different. Some teams are comfortable with an outline and ad -libbing. Some teams will read a script. Some teams will be closer to having a presentation memorized. Traditionally, with in-person competitions, part of the presentation could be pre-recorded, but the majority has to be live. This may change this year. When presenting, bring supporting materials. Bring any sketch, model, or prototype to help explain the team's solution to the judges. Some teams will have a trifold poster or another visual aid, but those are not required. Teams should not count on any materials being provided in the room, so make sure to bring what you need. Answering the judges' questions should be easy if the kids did the work throughout the season. Teams just need to explain their engineering journey, from choosing their problem to developing their solution. Judges are just another group to share the team's work with. Teams are encouraged to improve their solution throughout the season. As time allows, share with more groups. Make more improvements based on feedback. With more time, consider making secondary models or prototypes. For example, you can move from a drawing of the solution to a cardboard model to a more functional prototype of the solution. The innovation project is awesome. It is a great hands-on exploration of the year's topic. The team will learn the engineering process in a fun and meaningful way. It offers a chance to make a difference with the team's design solution. If you have any questions, please contact us at themoatmakers.org slash contact. Special thanks to FIRST and our coach. Thank you for watching. Best of luck to your teams this season.